All right, thanks, guys. We are coming off another outstanding day on patreon.com slash rockpage. Now, we had a high amount of games in action yesterday on that website. We actually had six plays uh, in motion yesterday, and we won five of them. So, we, uh, once again, we went five and one in our six premium selections on patreon.com slash rockpage yesterday. That's going to improve our record to 60% in our last 30 board member package plays on that site. We're also hitting at 62% in our last 13 daily double package plays on that site as well. We do daily premium picks on that site beginning at just $1.99 per month. Link for that site is in the description section below. Once again, we went 5-1 and one in our premium picks on that site yesterday. And that is patreon.com slash page. All right, let's go ahead and get into our NBA slate here for Wednesday. Happy hump day to you guys. Uh, we're almost to the weekend. We're halfway there. But anyway, we have the, uh, what do we have here? The Hornets taking on the Cavaliers. And that's going to be a 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Cleveland. The Cavs are the three-point favorite, total at 213.5. We saw a one-and-a-half point move toward Cleveland and movement downward on the total. The Cavs open one and a half up to minus three. Total open 215 down to 213 and a hook. 64% of the consensus are leaning toward Charlotte. 73% shaded toward the over. Right now the Hornets are plus 135 on the money line. Now Charlotte has successfully covered the number in four out of their last five games. They covered against Sacramento, Chicago, Brooklyn, and Washington. They're also eight and seven against the spread when traveling. And they rank 11th in defending the three ball on the road. Devontae Graham's averaging 19 points a game, four rebounds, seven assists. Terry Rozier, 16 points a game, five rebounds, four assists for him. And Miles Bridges, 13 points a game, five rebounds on average. Charlotte, they held their opponents to just 99 points per contest in their last five as well. Meanwhile, Cleveland on the other side, they rank in the bottom three in scoring, bottom five in offensive field goal percentage. Uh, a couple more things to add about the Cavs. They rank in the bottom 10 in offensive rebounding as well. They're in last place in the Central Division, 17 and a half games back of first place. They are just 6 and 21 overall for the year. They're ranking in the bottom 10 in points allowed. They're ranking dead last in defensive field goal percentage. And they're in the bottom three in defending the three ball. Now, Cleveland's 8 and 5 to the under at home. Charlotte, 3 and 2 to the under in their last five. I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me the Hornets plus three and the under 213 and a half in that game. Next matchup, it is going to be Toronto taking on the Pistons. Seven o'clock Eastern tip off in Detroit. The Raptors are the five point favorite total at 216 and a half. We saw a one point move toward Toronto and movement upward on the total. The Raptors open as the four point favorite up to minus five. Total open 216 up to 216 and a half. Right now, the Pistons are plus a buck seventy on the money line. Uh, the Pistons struggling against the spread this year, just eleven and sixteen against the spread overall for the season. They're ranking in the bottom five in offensive rebounding. They failed to cover against the likes of Washington and Charlotte recently, and they rank in the bottom ten in defensive field goal percentage, bottom three in home offensive rebounding. Now, defensively, this Piston squad has given up an average of one hundred and twenty-seven points per game in their last three straight. Uh, uh, that they failed to cover the point spread in. And they also are, uh, you know, a little bit banged up. Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond, they are listed as questionable for tonight's action. Now, Toronto on the other side, 3-1 and one straight up in their last four. 18-8 and eight overall for this season. They're just one game back of first place in the Atlantic Division. They're ranking the top five in offensive three-point percentage, top ten in offensive rebounding. Pascal Siakam's averaging 25 points a game, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. Kyle Lowry, 19 points a game, 5 rebounds, 7 assists for him. And Norman Powell, 15 points a game, 4 rebounds for the Raptors. Toronto is an astonishing 15-2 and two straight up when favored. They rank in the top 10 in points allowed, top 3 in defensive field goal percentage. Pretty good against the number thus far in the year as well. 15-11 and 11 against the spread for the year. Now 6 out of Toronto's last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with Detroit did get over the total if you're into historical trends. Meanwhile, the Pistons 9-5 to the over this year at home. 
They were also 67% of the over in their last nine. I'm going to lean toward the road chalk in this one. Give me Toronto minus five and the over 216 and a half in that game. Next matchup, it is going to be the Bulls taking on the Wizards. 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off in the nation's capital. The Bulls are the one-point favorite on the road, total 230 and a half. Now, we did see a good old-fashioned flip of the line in this one as Chicago opened up as the one-point dog. Uh, we also saw movement upward on the total as well. So, once again, Chicago opened plus one, now minus one. Total opened 229, up to 230 and a hook. 52% are leaning Washington, 51% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Wizards are plus 103 on the money line at home. The Wizards also rank the top five in scoring, top five in offensive field goal percentage. They put up 130, uh, 133 points versus Detroit not too long ago. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, that was a, a part of their last win. So let's try that again, Brock. Let's uh, get back on the uh, right page here. Uh, this Washington team put up 133 points versus Denver. They also put up 119 points versus Philadelphia in their last two victories. All right, so uh, their last two wins came against those teams where they put up 133 against Detroit, 119 versus Philadelphia. Now, their offense is averaging 118 points per contest. They're shooting 47.3% from the field. Bradley Beal's averaging 28 points a game, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. Davis Bertans, 15 points a game, 5 rebounds for him. And Thomas Bryant, 14 points a game, 9 rebounds for Thomas. We're looking at a Washington team who ranks in the top 5 in offensive 3-point percentage, top 5 in free throw percentage as well they're averaging 121 points per contest at home and they're shooting 49.3 percent from the field at home as well chicago on the other side just four and nine straight up away from home two and five straight up in their last seven they lost to okc charlotte and golden state during that run of seven games they rank in the bottom 10 in scoring bottom three in offensive field goal percentage they scored just 73 points against charlotte on december 13th what was that, last week? A couple days ago. Unbelievable. They're also ranking the bottom 10 in offensive rebounding, bottom 3 in defensive rebounding. Four out of Chicago's last six got over the number. They're 7-6 of the over when traveling. Meanwhile, three out of Washington's last four got over the number themselves. They are 60% of the over at home. I'm going to lean toward the home dog in this matchup here. Give me Washington plus one and the over 230 and a half in that game. And before we go ahead and move on, just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the show. Got some lines of personal leans out for Wednesday's NBA action. Once again, happy Wednesday to you. Happy hump day. We're halfway there. The weekend is almost here. Now, before we go ahead and dive into some more free lines and personal liens right here on YouTube, I just want to quickly remind you once again to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash Brock Page, where once again, we went 5-1 and one in our premium picks on that site yesterday. That's going to put us at 60% in our last 30 board member package plays on that site. We're also hitting at 62% in our last 13 daily double package plays on that site as well. We do daily premium selections on that website, beginning at just $1.99 per month. We have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to. And at the end of this program, I will explain to you the difference between what I do here on YouTube and that Patreon page. Now, if you're curious, you can check out my current Patreon record for free right now. All you have to do is click the link in the description section below. It's right on the homepage. That is patreon.com slash rock page. Once again, five and one yesterday in our premium picks on that site. All right, let's go ahead and dive back into some more free lines and personalines right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got the Miami Heat. Miami. The Miami Heat taking on Philadelphia. Seven o'clock Eastern tip off at the Wells Fargo Center in South Philly. The Sixers are the seven and a half point favorite total at 212 and a hook. We saw a one-point move toward Philly and movement downward on the total. The Sixers opened 6.5, up to minus 7.5. Total opened 213, down to 212 and a hook. 61% are leaning Miami, 63% shaded toward the over. Right now the Heat are plus 255 on the money line. Miami's won 7 out of their last 10 games. They're also 19-8 and eight overall for the season. First place in the Southeast Division. They're 7 games ahead of Orlando for the top spot. 
They scored 122 points versus Dallas and 121 points versus Toronto recently. They rank in the top 10 in scoring, top 5 in offensive field goal percentage. They've successfully covered the point spread in three out of their last four games, and they averaged 122 points per contest in those three covers. They rank in the top three in defensive rebounding, top 10 in defensive three-point percentage as well. Jimmy Butler's averaging 21 points a game, six rebounds, seven assists, and two steals. Can't imagine what kind of reception he's going to get tonight. Kendrick Nunn, 16 points a game, four assists for him. And Bam Adebayo, 15 points a game, 11 rebounds, and five assists for Bam. One more thing to add about Miami. They're very good against the number this year as well. They are 18-9 and nine against the spread overall for this season. Now, Philadelphia on the other side, uh, not so much. Out of their 28 games this year, they've successfully covered the point spread in just 12 of them. They've also failed to cover the spread in three out of their last four games. They rank in the bottom five in offensive free throw percentage, and they are 18th in home scoring. Now, recently, they failed to cover against the likes of Brooklyn, New Orleans, Washington, and the Knicks. And... If you're into the injury report, Joel Embiid has been listed as questionable for tonight's action. Now, five out of Philly's last eight did stay under the total. They're nine and five to the under at the Wells Fargo Center. Meanwhile, Miami eight and seven to the under when traveling. I'm going to purchase the half a point, buy it up, and take Miami plus eight and the under 212 and a half in that game. Next matchup, Pelicans taking on the T-Wolves, eight o'clock Eastern tip-off in Minnesota. The Timberwolves are the eight and a half point favorite, total at 231 and a half. We saw a half a point move toward Minnesota and movement upward on the total. The T Wolves open as the eight point favorite, up to minus eight and a half. Total open 231, up to 231 and a hook. Now, Minnesota's really struggled as of late. I guess it serves them right for doing that stupid howling sound every time the opponent goes to the line. It howls twice, and it's really, really uh, annoying. But anyway, uh, Minnesota. They lost their last seven straight. They failed to cover the point spread in all of those seven games. They ranked the bottom 10 in offensive field goal percentage, bottom three in points allowed. They're really struggling at home. They may they may want to think about doing away with the howling sound every uh, every two minutes. Oh, every two minutes. Uh, it's all you hear. It's really frustrating uh, watching a, a T-Wolves game, and it, it stinks because uh, I do like fo- following the T-Wolves. Uh, they have some very interesting... Uh, players on their team but anyway uh, this Minnesota squad just three and nine straight up at home two and ten against the spread in those games just really really bad at home for their backers and for their fans Carl Anthony Towns and Lehman they're listed as questionable for tonight's action Minnesota ranks in the bottom 10 in defensive field goal percentage bottom three in defensive rebounding and they rank dead last in home offensive field goal percentage now the Pelicans on the other side I know they've struggled this year but They rank in the top 10 in scoring, top 10 in offensive three-point percentage. Brandon Ingram's averaging 25 points a game, seven rebounds, four assists. Drew Holiday, 20 points a game, seven assists, and two steals. And J.J. Redick, 16 points a game, three rebounds. Now keep an eye on J.J. He is listed as questionable for tonight's action. I believe it's a uh, a groin injury. I don't know if it's a hernia or he popped a testicle. But uh, anyway, J.J. Redick listed as questionable. But regardless, the Pelicans are ranking in the top 10 in road scoring, and they rank 11th in offensive three-point percentage on the road. Now, three out of New Orleans' last four games did get over the number. They're also 8-5 and five to the over when traveling. Now, uh, Minnesota on the other side, six straight overs for them. 6-0 and o to the over in their last six. They're also 16-9 and nine to the over for this season. I'm going to purchase the half a point, buy it up, and take the Pelicans plus nine. And the over, 231 and a half in that matchup. Next game, Grizzlies taking on the OKC Thunder. 8 o'clock Eastern tip-off at the Chesapeake Bay Arena, Chesapeake Energy Center, something like that. Uh, but it's in Oklahoma City. OKC is the 6.5 point favorite, total at 219. We saw a half a point move toward OKC, and movement upward on the total. Thunder open six, up to six and a half. Total open 218, up to 219. 57% are leaning Memphis, 74% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Grizzlies are plus 230 on the money line. Now, Memphis ranks in the bottom five in points allowed. Uh, they're allowing 116 points per contest. They're also ranking in the bottom 10 in offensive three-point percentage. 
Uh, they're just 10 and 17 straight up overall for the year. And they're eight and a half games back of first place in the Southwest Division. Now, they're allowing 116 points per contest in their last three straight as well. They rank in the bottom 10 in offense, a three-point percentage on the road. Bottom three in defending the three ball on the road as well. Meanwhile, OKC on the other side, uh, this is going to really bode well for them because they rank in the top three in shooting the three ball at home. So uh, that certainly matches up well for the Thunder. They're also 8-5 and five straight up and against the spread at home this year. 6-3 and three straight up in their last nine. And uh, out of their last nine games they've played, they've successfully covered the point spread in six of them. Shea Gilgis Alexander, 18 points a game, five rebounds for him. Danilo Gallinari, 18 points a game, six rebounds for him. Dennis Schroeder, 17 points a game, four assists for him. This OKC team ranks in the top three in home offense of field goal percentage, top 10 in shooting the three ball at home. They've had uh, successful covers as of late over the likes of Sacramento, Utah, and Portland. Now, defensively, OKC's held their opponents to just 99 points per contest in their last five on average. Uh, so holding them under triple digits in their last five. And one more thing to add about OKC, they rank in the top 10 in home defensive rebounding. Now, total-wise, OKC's 67% to the under in their last nine, 15 and 11 to the under overall for the year. Memphis on the other side, 7 and 4 to the under when traveling. I'm going to purchase the half a point. Buy it down and lean toward the home chalk in this one. Give me OKC minus six and the under 219 in that matchup.